again i think this is fine now this is fine now okay yes. wonderful so um, earlier i wished you good evening and then you also oh. wished me good evening and then i said that my brain is lagging my brain is i see <laughs> okay uh, okay how have you been sir what have you done until 1 pm today uh, uh okay so you'll be amazed to know that i w- woke up at uh, i think 11:30 why uh, all because you know i work yeah. night shift i do night shift okay. so uh, yeah that's the reason you know i wake up late mm-hmm. by 11:30 12 o'clock sometimes and then uh, yeah that's the reason so uh, Where i had to sp- work out i work for yes, yes, uh, okay so am i audible to you yes you are yes i'm just curious i'm so sorry all right so uh, what i'm saying is i work for an it uh, staffing organization um, so that's a us based and uh, um, i work in night shift so what does it staffing means like do you recruit people third party yeah. from a third party like that you got it yes uh, we we are into a recruitment cycle uh, we are hiring people from us and we take care of entire um, okay. rpo recruitment process outsourcing wow and do you recruit from india do you recruit from us no we recruit from us itself and for which companies okay which okay. kind of companies indian companies or well, us companies okay so uh, i might not be able to tell you exactly which you know what are our clients but all i can exactly, say yes. is uh, a lot of it a big giants you name it we have it right so we work, we work for a number of it giants banking giants right so i can give you a lot of names though uh, but not precisely i'll i'll not i'm going i probably won't be able to tell you uh, but yes like facebook google uh, you know a lot of banking clients like jp morgan chase then we have citi bank uh, you know uh, we have very big big names if i talk about pharmaceutical industry right and we work for uh, pfizer sanofi j and j right so a uh, lot many other clients as well uh, like you you name it probably we have we have those in our kitty so we serve them right oh, that that's that this is amazing to hear like not the fact that you wake up at 11:30 this is a... <laughs> okay um i i generally wake up late i don't work night shift but i anyway wake up late <laughs> maybe because of you okay. taking sessions late i suppose no i only take four sessions a day Oh. i don't take any um okay so I'm that is i'm curious to know like what what else you do if you uh, probably you, you you don't take too many sessions that's for sure as you pointed out so what else uh, you do except clap and go i study my entire day goes by studying so i'm preparing for my management entrance exams Wonderful. i planned to go for it in 2019 and i'm doing it now so after finishing my graduation post graduation i did a few jo- uh, i did job for a couple of years and then okay. i i was like okay no no leave all of this let's upgrade ourselves and let's go uh, earn some more money like entire plan is to earn more money to upgrade right. my skill set right so, that's like, a wonderful idea somebody come someday some, yeah somebody asked me someday like mansi why mba and like money Okay. <laughs> I think I'll be upfront about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Understood. Uh, so, so are you preparing for CAT exams, entrance exams, or? Yes. Yes. Thirty-eight, yeah. thirty-seven days due, and yes, I have my exams in November, uh, last All Sunday, luck. November. All the luck for that. Thank you so much. I hope it helps. I hope it does. I think that will be great if you can share feedback towards the end, and because. what happens is probably uh, if we uh, share feedback maybe during the conversation so we might somehow get disconnected so 
Yeah. Mm. It's okay if you want. I mean, if I make blunder mistakes, then you can probably point out at any point in time. Else, we can have a conversation. You know, you can share your feedback towards the end. That will be feasible, I believe. That's okay. Uh, nothing is major enough. I can let you know towards the end. What I'm sure. actually curious about is you have a very sharp accent. Very sharp pronunciation, a very sharp accent. Has a, a, anyone ever told you this? <laughs> uh, yes, a number of times. I mean, like, um, even if I work but at my workplace, and I have spoken to a number of people on over the Camly, and they have given the feedback as well. So, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm used to it. I'm sorry to say that. But yes, people have uh, a lot of times, you know, they've said that you've got good voice, you've got crisp sound, you probably have clear pronunciation. So, so all of that. So, yeah. Why, why are you on the platform then? Okay, so I am on this platform, as I mentioned, uh, I don't know if I mentioned, you know, in this conversation, but I said, like, uh, the motive behind joining Clapping Go is uh, to brush up my conversational skills, like there is, an, there is a scope of improvement, right? So um, that's the one thing, that's the one thing. And the second thing is I have my YouTube channel as well, wherein uh, I upload these videos, these conversational videos, and uh, give opportunity to people, uh, you know, to learn out of those conversational videos. So, okay. Yeah. I think this makes sense to me, the latter part. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. The latter part definitely makes sense to me. Hmm. I'm, I'm amazed. Uh, I've seen a lot of YouTubers on YouTube posting a lot of uh, Clappingo videos and Cambly as well, with along with those educators. But what I am wondering is, are you able to monetize it ha till now? Like, when did you start? And now are you able to earn to it? Okay, that's a big question. No, I haven't because, you know, um, I think it's not that old. I mean, YouTube, my YouTube channel, I'm, I'm in my initial stage, actually. So I think it's been like six, seven months and uh, I have been posting videos. So I think YouTube content is something uh, you, sh you have to wait and watch uh, until it goes viral, right? So um, it is, I think, a time-taking process. So one should have to have the patience. Uh, uh, and then you probably can think about uh, the monetization. So I am not at this stage uh, where I was, you know, I probably would think about the monetization because I even understand because it's been a while now, six, seven months or something that you, that's enough to understand the, uh, you know, in nuances yeah. of uh, any process, right? So, so um, that's how YouTube works. And uh, yeah, I, I have not been thinking about monetization as of now, but yes. Um, I mean, if, if everything goes fine, certainly we can think about it. Yeah. Yes, of course. How far up you still have to go? 4,000. <laughs> okay, I think I'm far now. <laughs> I am, oh, I'm, I'm still far. Yeah. So, um, okay. yeah, people are that liking my I don't videos. Have a um, the people are liking my videos. And uh, they wanted a lot of videos to be uploaded. Uh, but that's okay. I mean, that's a part of it. And um, I think uh, uh, there are so many, uh, I think, uh, things which you must consider while you, you upload videos. Like you have to be consistent in uploading videos. You have, uh, you don't have, the, there, there shouldn't be gap, much gap uh, uh, between the, the videos that you're uploading. Mm. And uh, there are so many other things as well, other factors as well, uh, that you have to make sure that you get get this done, uh, yeah. In order to attract a lot of, say, uh, subscribers or maybe viewers and all of that. So, yeah, I'm still far away from that 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 deadline. I also want to start my YouTube channel, but nothing related to English. English is not my favorite subject at all, actually. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So, what what is the content that you, if you can probably open and say what content do you wish to upload uh, videos for? I think there are two kind of videos that I'll upload is, but both belonging to the same category is gaming, esports. Oh. So one okay. is the live streams, and the uh -huh. other one is how to uh, diffuse a site or how to attack a site and how to, um, how do I say, take control of the entire map and 
eliminate the enemy or defeat the enemy throughout the entire journey and i want to upload videos of first person shooting games so i i have no idea what you're talking about <laughs> that's okay, something entirely uh, new for me <laughs> is it have you heard of counter strike global offensive pubg not Fortnite? much yes i i have i've heard about pubg but i have yeah. never played that game and oh, uh, i'm okay. not much into games i'm sorry to say that but yes that's probably the reason you know i'm not understanding all those you know so called typical uh, technical okay. words technicality of that professionally okay. for a while so i'm okay. like okay i need to upload videos i want to do this and that and blah 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 blah, blah but it requires a lot of investments uh -huh. and i need money for it <laughs> <laughs> and better you go for mba and then probably go for all of Yes, that that is the entire plan. I'm like, I'm taking such a big route to come back to this place, sit on this table, and do it again. I'm like, okay, Monsi, you got this. Let's take a. But you know what? Like, I mean, if you if you do your MBA from a recognized university or college, probably you don't have to come back to. You don't have to think about money. Yeah, that's for sure. Because I have I've also done my MBA, but but not from a very recognized university. But I understand, you know, how things go around. So I can t I can certainly tell you that yeah MBA is one of the lucrative uh, options today and if you if you do from mm -hmm. the recognized one uh, certainly you'll be able to you'll be, you'll be able to grow like anything yeah and money is not going to be an issue for you for you for sure okay okay yeah. um, I see we have last five minutes and I would like you to drop a few minor feedbacks here and there sure okay. is that okay sure absolutely yes. please. So uh, I remember when initially we were talking about clients, right? So you said that I cannot tell you what clients we serve or we have, etc. For clients, the pronoun that we use are, is who. I cannot tell you about the clients who we serve or who we have. Okay. I cannot tell you about the people who we have or people who we serve kind of thing. Like generally what, what requires when you have n number of options. Okay. But out okay. of those n number of options, I'm sure that you have specific options, right? They, you cannot have the infinity options all at once every time. They but I'll tell you, the... Mansi, uh, I understand. I got your point. But I'll tell you that is something uh, which we have been, uh, you know, talking like anything. I mean, the what is something that we keep on talking about, especially Americans, if I would say, if, if I have to tell you, is that they use what, uh, you know, most yes. of the time instead of using who, so that's, uh, I think, uh, yeah, I don't know I mean, if, if it is grammatically correct or, or, or incorrect, but I mean, a lot of times we have been, we use what instead of, uh, you know, using who. Yeah. So that's one of the other way I accept, I got your point, but yeah, even if I believe that's also something acceptable, but, but, but going forward, I'll, I'll, I'll make sure of it. I'm not saying that it is not acceptable. Acceptable size. I am pretty, pretty aware that um, but at times we say what color. Okay. But it should actually be which color. Yeah. But we have just normalized a few things and it has because of some, we have lost meaning of literal meanings of fewer words in this modern times. Right. Right. So it's, it's acceptable. And just, I just hope that you are aware of this. And even if you're doing it, it's a deliberate decision that you're making. Um, secondly, going for the degrees, right? You said that if you do MBA from a prestigious institution or something, I think the better verb that you can replace it with is if you complete your degree from a prestigious institution or if you pursue this degree or MBA from a prestigious institution. It's the same like having an experience and not doing an experience. Mm -hmm. Same like making a mistake and not doing a mistake. Okay. It, it has only been a couple of months since mm -hmm. I've joined Lapingo and finished. I'm almost done with approximately 400 sessions, and it's been okay. nice. It's been great journey. I I have got a lot of repeated learners as well, but many okay. a times when I keep shifting my timelines, I keep mm -hmm. losing them as well. Like every time I get a new person, so like today I'm meeting you for the first time. Right? So it's, right. I'm not the kind of person who will be speaking to so many new people. So it's very new for me. It kind of gives me butterflies. It's it kind of gives me anxiety many a times. I don't, oh shit, new people. Oh no. Okay. And then I'm like, you know, once you got this, you have to do it. So maybe this is also kind of helping me. Let's say uh -huh. it will next year help me in my interviews to right, tackle absolutely. all those jewelry that I'll have. So right. yes, this 